Okay, today we're taking um, tooth number 29 out. It's, um, it's got a fracture here and it's failing. It's got a little infection here. So we're gonna, we're, right now what we're gonna do initially is just section the bridge. Okay, so what we're looking at too is the amount of keratinized tissue that she didn't have where, where the plonic is, but uh, hard to tell. This, is, this looks like keratinized tissue here. So actually she has enough keratinized tissue. What I, I thought I would do was make an incision in a mucogingival junction and then apically position it, split thickness, and see if we can gain some more connect, or, uh, keratinized tissue. But actually she has enough here that I can split this and move this later. So I'm not so worried about that. So your gum tissue is okay? Okay, you're going to feel a lot of pressure here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're doing. You can see where that tooth is cracked. It's just totally cracked in half. with this phone graph putty. Mm -hmm. She thinks this is the greatest thing at all. Okay, so we've got the tooth extracted, the site uh, bone graph. Um, Are you going to put scars there? Got the... Um, mm. Got the bridge cut and the contact polished. We already know we have adequate keratinized tissue, so I'll just use that later. And um, we're gonna make her a lower retainer, just to keep things from shifting. We've already made a model of the lower. And um, take a look at it in a couple weeks. So this is a two week healing of the extraction and bone graft in number 29. And um, she's wearing a Trutane retainer just to hold the space, we'll take a look at the x-ray. So here's where we started. Here's what it looks like now and we'll be checking it out in two months. This patient is transitioning with a Trutane retainer instead of a stay plate. She had a bridge from 29 to 31 that failed and we're going to be placing an implant in the 29 and 30 sites. Um, these Trutane retainers are uh, O2O vinyl and they're used uh, often in, uh, or as an orthodontic retainer. In her case, she had a little tightness on the retainer, so we just used some light cure block out. Um, this is going to prevent number 31 from moving mesially, and then it will also help to maintain the occlusion. This is about the two and a half month healing of the extraction and bone graft in the number 29 site. You can see that she has a thin band of keratinized tissue and so the ridge is thin uh, on the coronal edge but once you get down about four or five millimeters it starts getting really wide there. So she has uh, plenty of bone for an implant um, and that's what's next. We'll take a look at the x-ray. Okay, so here's our x-ray after we did the extraction in the bone graft. And here's what it looks like about two and a half months later. So as early as a month and a half from now, we're going to be ready to place the two implants. Okay, today we're placing the implants in the number 29 and 30 sites. Hold your head over that right there. Good, that's perfect. And because of the limited band of keratinized tissue, we're going to be doing a, a flap.
Okay, so we've got a flap reflected here, and you can you can see where the extraction was right here. It's got a really good healing of the bone graft. You're probably putting a 3.5 here and a 4.5 in this area, but you can see she's got this kind of a um, a, a ridge of bone here, so I'm going to be flattening that off a little bit. Okay, so we've taken that down and flattened that with the um, with just a high speed. Okay, we got our skin thing, and we're going to mark. We want to start our implant. Okay, this is a BioHorizons bone profiling setup. has some sleeves, and then it has a bone profile that goes over the sleeve. If we had soft tissue, we would be um, going in reverse first, and then going in uh, forward, but since we don't have the soft tissue there, we just go forward, profile the bone. Now we're doing the 4.5 now. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of 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 our final suturing. Let's see our kind of our stent in place. And we'll take a look at it in a few weeks. Okay, those are our two implants. They're going to be ready to be restored, and we'll take a look at them. Okay, these are the final restorations on the implants on number 29 and 30. We'll take a look at the x-rays next. Okay, so we started out with a failing abutment, extraction and bone graft, the healing of the bone graft, implant placement, and implant restoration.